everybody, good morning. It's Tom Chenault. It's the Hair on Fire call. I'm telling you, it is now, it is on, and let's go. I know so many things that you don't know that are going to make you absolutely cry with happiness as we go to get toward the convention. The name of the game is you need to be on and have your team on the call on New Year's Eve, no matter what. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. It's early in the afternoon. If you're drunk that early, you need to go to AA. So what you want to do is get on the call and then go do that Falderall, but get on the call. The second thing you want to do is get your people on the call, no matter what. So you've got to be a stand right now that they're going to be on the call. Because what they're going to learn on the call is going to drive them to Las Vegas. It's an important call. They do it every year, and it's going to blow your socks off. So New Year's Eve, the call, be on it like you're on this call. Bring your people like you bring your people to this call. Start text messaging now saying, put the time aside. You want to be on this call. I don't think I'm promoting that quite enough. If you knew how important it was, you would really know why I'm promoting it so much. How about my old buddy, Oprah Winfrey? Ever heard the story about her? Talk show host, influence maker, businesswoman. In 1983, she was given a local Chicago area talk show to host. It was dead last in the ratings. Then it became an internationally syndicated phenomena that's going away over the weekend. And all of a sudden, Oprah TV is going to start, the Oprah Network. But let's hear her story for a second. Maybe it was the poverty wearing potato sacks as dresses and keeping cockroaches as pets. Maybe it was running away from an abusive home with no one to help her. Maybe it was being told by her bosses to get plastic surgery since her eyes were too far apart, her nose was too flat, and her hair was too black. It could have been any of those experiences, or all of them. But somewhere along the way, the little girl with so much drive, the little girl who loved to talk, the one they used to call the preacher, came to a conclusion. She teaches it every day because she, we love her because she's still learning it. The only person, listen to this, the only person that you ever need to be is yourself. Do the one thing you think you cannot do. Fail at it. Try again. Do it better the second time. The only people who never tumble are the ones that never even mount the high wire. Oprah Winfrey. Interview two. Three way one. Train like crazy. Be a stand for people. Fail. How many of you haven't even gotten on the high wire yet? How many haven't trusted the process? How many haven't done a three-way call? How many haven't tra sent people to Dr. Wallach on the radio in the afternoon? How many haven't gotten so doggone intentional about this thing that people can feel you bleeding your intentionality? Because if you get there from here, it's all going to change. Oprah Winfrey decided to build something from a dead television station. You are not that far behind. You are walking up there, Robert Beck in Chicago. When he heard Dr. Wallach, a lot of people were in the room, 4,000 or more. But only one man really heard it, and that was Robert Beck. And Robert Beck says, man alive, that is an unbelievable message, and I could make a living at that. And he went out there, and he started gathering people like crazy, and it still wasn't operating exactly as he wanted it to. So he said, I need to learn this thing. And he went out and he bought four books off of Masters of Enrollment. He brought in Peter Glidden. He brought in Blake Graham. He brought in Denise Chenault. He brought in some people that do it. And he said, I am going to learn to do this myself. I am going to learn to teach my team to do this. I am going to take a company called Robert Beck and take it to the world. And he is taking it to the world. Are you? Did you make that decision? Robert Beck's in Chicago. So's Peter Glidden. 
Just down the road is Char Murphy, the first distributor in Longevity, who has been traveling this country from one end to the other for 14 years, talking and walking with Dr. Wallach to take this message to the masses. There are a lot of ways to get to financial freedom and longevity. Some of them are different, some of them are harder than others. But if you stay the course, you're going to get there from here. I promise you that. You can be an Oprah Winfrey. You can make a difference and you can look at your bank book at the end of the year and you can be just like Oprah Winfrey who last year made $350 million. The richest woman in entertainment. How did she do that? She didn't become an overnight success. She became an overnight success 27 years later. That's what you can do. People are going to say to you all the time, holy cow, if I had that size group, I'll guarantee you I'd love longevity. Well, I'll guarantee you the people with the large size groups love longevity from day one. It's not when you get into longevity that makes a difference out there, you guys. It's when longevity gets into you. You've got to bleed intentionality. You've got to get up every morning and you've got to say, I am interviewing two. I am three way in one and I'm going to train like crazy and I'm going to learn this industry. I'm going to learn this business. I was talking to some people yesterday and they can't figure out why this guy doesn't follow their path. And I've tried to say as nicely as I could ten times that there was no path to follow. It's a dirt road with a bunch of potholes and all kinds of signs leading different directions along the road. One sign says go left, another 50 feet down it says go right, and another 100 feet down it goes, says go backwards five steps. And the reason that those people can't get people from there to here or from here to there is because they don't know where they're going. If you read those four books, you plug into your upline mentor, you build this thing the right way, you're going to be on the super highway to success. It's going to be easier. It's going to be better. And it's going to be tangible. Something you can wrap your hands around. Something that you can teach to other people. Even if you've been successful. I want to ask you this. Even if you've been successful. And you're a diamond in longevity. Do you really believe in your heart of hearts you're duplicatable? You're probably thinking right now, well, I got three top line leaders. Do you think that you're duplicatable three levels deep, four levels deep, five levels deep? Your personality is going to go about three levels deep. After that, the system has to take over. So you've got to be doing something people can duplicate. So if you're running hither, thither, and yon, and your team's running hither, thither, and yon, guess what you're duplicating? Hither, thither, and yon. If you've got a team that's doing what you're doing, and I'm very proud of Barbara Lucart because I know what she said on Robert Beck's call last night. Robert Beck got what Barbara Lucart is teaching. Barbara Lucart is teaching what her upline is teaching, and it's an absolutely duplicatable system. Peggy Lapsley is doing the same thing. These people are all creating this accordion because what you do is you train down and you catch the volume which squeezes up. You guys can do this. <coughs> I am absolutely positive of it. But all you need to do today is believe it. You need to believe it like you've never believed anything before. And you got to get your nose bloodied a few times. I know there's somebody out there that's got some homework today. He's going to practice it on his upline. He's going to interview his upline. Just like the coffee shop interview says to do. You've got to interview your upline. How are you going to know why I am doing this business? How are you going to know what my skill sets are? How are you going to know why you like me on a three-way call as your upline if you haven't interviewed me? It's insanity. And I am a great guy to practice the coffee shop interview on. So are your upline diamonds. So I'm telling you guys today, do what I'm asking you to do, and that is do the coffee shop interview on your upline and then start interviewing two, three-way one, and train like crazy, and you are going to make it to the top just like Oprah Winfrey did.
That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I love you guys.